The definition of the awkward stage when growing your hair out differs from person to person. And so in today's video, we're gonna be going over six tips on how to grow your hair out past the awkward stage. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are on a roll with these videos. I think I've made more videos in the past month than I did the whole of last year. So if you find any of these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. It also lets me know you guys like seeing these type of videos. Tip number one is to stop approaching it as the awkward stage. There are plenty of hairstyles you can do at every stage of growing your hair out. When you approach it as the awkward stage, you're limiting yourself from all of these hairstyles. An example of a hairstyle you could do while growing your hair out is the one I posted on my channel last week. It's a Leonardo DiCaprio inspired hairstyle. Over the coming weeks, I have plenty more hairstyling videos which are perfect for that time bracket. So subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date. Tip number two is maintenance cuts. A lot of the people that try to grow their hair out go for the root one strategy, which is just grow your hair out and never get it cut. And while this is technically the most efficient way of growing your hair out, it's probably not the best. Personally, I get a maintenance haircut every five to six weeks just to keep everything in check. Anything after six weeks, I start to feel really scruffy and as a result, I get quite demotivated when growing my hair out. So just going into the barbers for a really short visit and just getting the hairs above your ears, round the back, trimmed really does make a difference. Just make it super clear to your barber that you're only there to clean stuff up. You're not looking to get a full on haircut. Tip number three is to slick those sides. This is especially important in the earlier stages of growing your hair out because I find that the sides are what's most problematic for people. By slicking your sides down and then styling your hair as usual, you can kind of treat it as a disconnected undercut. So hopefully it brings back some familiarity during those earlier months when your sides are just kind of like sticking out, you don't really know what to do with them. Tip number four is accessories. If you are having a really hard time styling your hair or you just don't want to some days, accessories are your best friend. The most obvious, for example, could be wearing a hat. I don't really wear hats like at all, so my personal favorites are wearing like a hair band and you can literally put it in when you have wet hair and just go about your day. Or another example is if it's a sunny day and I'm wearing sunglasses, when I'm not wearing them, I'll have them resting on the top of my head, just keeping my hair back. Tip number five is to not wash your hair every single day. A lot of you are probably expecting me to say because it's damaging to your hair, it's not optimal for hair growth. And while those things are true, that's not actually where I'm leaning towards. By shampooing your hair every day, if you're the type of guy who likes to style their hair afterwards, it can be very time consuming and a big factor of growing your hair out is you just want to keep it as simple as possible. Trust me when I say this, dry shampoo is the way forward. Just apply some to the roots of your hair, really work it in and you've basically got second day hair without having to do anything and we're not washing our hair every day which is better for our hair's health. And tip number six is to update yourself. Every month or so, take a picture in the mirror of how long your hair's getting. That way when it gets tough and you feel like quitting, you can see how far you've come and how much progress you'd be losing if you were to go back. But hey, if you find it's not for you, then fair enough, you know, I think, What's most important is just exploring kind of every avenue while you can. I think a lot of the time trying out different hairstyles is way better than just ruling them off completely. But that is all for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.